I thought I'd make a video to report some progress and then realised that I'd actually have to make some progress first. So this morning I have been mostly making progress here in the garden. The first bridge side that I've built is now painted up. I had intended to paint the bridge red but when I really thought about it I decided that a bright red bridge probably wasn't going to look as good as if I did it in some other colour with red highlights. So grey it was. Quite close to where I live there are two gas holders which are being demolished at the moment and one of those is actually painted grey and red. So I don't have to look very far for examples of grey and red structures. I realised that because I've done this already now and figured out exactly what to do that it wouldn't take me very long to put together the other side so I have actually done all of that this morning. Now the other side doesn't need the same amount of detailing. This side is going to be facing the wall. That side is the side we're really going to see so all I really need to do is paint it grey and then put red along the top. That's come together nice and quick and uh, I'll give it a couple of days for the epoxy to go off and then I'll paint it up. A few people have given me some warnings about rust in the garden and I have tried to take some of their comments on board because I do want the railway to last. But it's worth noting that this metal angle I've been using to make these bridges out of, it was actually buried underground in part, um, being used as a gatepost and before that it was clearly uh, a bed frame. I would be surprised if I didn't get another decade out of it even without it being painted so with the paint on I think it should last quite well. I did take the precaution of painting the screw heads after I'd screwed down the bridge side earlier. It just seemed sensible. It will all be sealed underneath some roof felt eventually anyway. I couldn't resist the opportunity to see what the train looked like going over the bridge before I went inside so I'll leave you with a few shots Here's a behind the scenes thing for you. This mic I'm using now relies on a little button cell battery to run. I ordered some new batteries for it this week and to find out what sort of batteries I needed I took the battery that was in the mic out of it and now I've lost it. So right now my fingers have actually gone numb because for this whole video I've been holding 